What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find lengths using the in center of a triangle. All right, now the in center of a triangle is just a point that's always inside of a triangle, and it's the same distance away from all three sides of the triangle. All right, and the distance from the in center to the side creates a 90 degree angle with each of the sides. Okay, so here we're going to go over a quick example on how to find that distance from the in center to a side. So here uh, the problem says that the distance NQ is equal to 2x. So the distance from N to Q here, uh, I'll just write it like that, that's 2x. The distance from N to R is 3x minus 2. So N to R is equal to 3x minus 2. And we're trying to find the distance from N to S, right? So we're trying to figure out what this distance is right here. Okay, so the first thing we need to take into account is that all these distances are the exact same length, right? So this distance, this distance, and this distance, they're all the same length. So here we can say that NQ is equal to NR, and that's equal to NS, all right, the lengths. So knowing that, we can set these two lengths that we know, or we have equations for them, so we have 2x, and 3x minus 2, right? We can set those equal to each other because we know they're equal to each other. So here we could just say that 2x is equal to 3x minus 2, all right? Now we can solve for x. Okay, so here, uh, let's move the x's to the right side. So we're going to subtract 2x, subtract 2x, those cancel out. So then we get 0 is equal to just 1x, or in other words, x, and then we have minus 2, right? And then here we can just add 2. Uh, add 2 to both sides, so we get that 2 is equal to x. Okay, cool. So now that we know what x is equal to, now we can plug it into either of these two little expressions, and we should get the same answer, right? So if we plug in a 2 for x right here, well, 2 times 2, that's equal to 4, right? If we plug in a 2 right here, 3 times 2, that's equal to 6, and 6 minus 2 is also equal to 4, right? So then that means that this length, ns, right, uh, we're trying to find ns right here, is also equal to 4. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.